And welcome back. Well, if you ask Molly and me, the perfect garden space would be beautiful and it would have a bar in it. Yep, that's mm -hmm. right. I like the way you said that today. How to create garden spaces for everyone and every purpose, including places to entertain. Melinda Myers is a gardening expert. She's an author, a TV host. She does it all. Cute new haircut. Oh, yeah, thanks. you got thanks, it going Casey. on. I appreciate it. It's really <laughs> cute. I love it. This is a fun um, a topic for you because your your point is that you can have a beautiful space. It's really fun for entertaining. And then it can also be very functional. So you could have things like composting, or you could uh, grow plants that uh, attract certain things to your Birds garden. Birds and butterflies. So you're helping the pollinators, getting kids excited about gardening. I'm all about growing the next generation of gardeners. So we have a the zombie plant. I love this. You know, it looks like brains. You probably know a lot of gardeners <laughs> know crested hilarious. celosia. Because zombies are totally in right now. Exactly. I love that you put the little zombie guy in front of exactly. you. Exactly. So. <laughs> and I picked a lousy pot on purpose so it looked like a zombie guy. ate the pot as well. <laughs> That's um, fun though. It is. And you mentioned plant a bar and I think we have a picture of the plant a bar mm -hmm. which is a fun idea. Gardener Supply has developed this wonderful bar that you can plant your favorite herbs to make your favorite beverages with oh. or without alcohol. Smart. Up to you. I like that. So your guests can sit at the bar and you can pluck those, that muddle is them, cool. and you can see it right here. That's so cute. A little mojito, fresh yes, out of the spot. Yes, exactly. Yeah, it doesn't look like you need a whole lot of space necessarily either. No, mm -hmm. there's one that's two by four and the other one is two by six, so you can get it to fit the size available. And mm -hmm. I think everybody will move over some things to get the bar in. Uh, yeah. But you can also plant fun things in pots. You know, strawberries. This is Deliz mm. Strawberry, Deliz Strawberry, which is an so All-America Selection it's winner. It's got little pockets. Yeah, yeah, isn't that a fun planter? That's great. That and so nice you can planter. bring it into your unheated garage and overwinter. Yeah. Great for your tabletop. Oh. You know, I grew some grapes. These I grew this last right year. year. And um, do they grow well here? You can even move them inside. I was skeptical. I took mine inside. Okay. I had a little cluster of grapes, so you're not going to have enough to make wine. But what a fun centerpiece, <laughs> right? <laughs> or put it on your your outdoor plant. And bar. blueberries. Can I try one of yes, these? Yes, please do. Okay, oh, that's and fun. And so, and blueberries don't grow well in our soil mm. here. So putting them in a pot where you can control the moisture, have well-drained soil, and so, and these will produce for a good couple months, and they're compact varieties. This is called jelly bean. So it's a fun one. Mm -hmm. For small space gardeners as well. Really cute. Um, tomatoes. And then you got, yep, tomatoes. Tomatoes. Over there. This is a fun all in one. This a is container a container with the, isn't it? It's wow. The, isn't it? It's mm -hmm. the revolutionary tomato planter. Seriously. And you can adjust those um, support so as the tomato grows, you can lower or raise, and you can take it off if you need to put it in your car to drive it somewhere, <laughs> like everybody. It happens. Great. Yeah, exactly. Are there things people should consider if they want a space like this? You know, think about how you're going to use it. What do you want to do? Do you like to entertain? Do you have children that are coming? Do you want to bring in the birds and butterflies, which not only are good for our pollinators, mm -hmm. and really um, one of the missions of American Transmission Company is to create space for pollinators under high transmission lines. And we so need our pollinators. We mm -hmm. do. And so this is a great way to have beauty, some function. You know, this is called cigar plant or firecracker plant. And there's our garden at the zoo that if you come visit, oh. or at the fair, I'm sorry, if you come visit me, you'll see the pollinator yeah. garden. That's so fun. we're seeing, we saw a little bit of the one you were just talking right, about. Right, that cigar, one's called again? The cigar, or I think they've changed it to firecracker plant to be more politically <laughs> correct. <laughs> okay. Ornamental grasses that are native. Again, something that's great under transmission line. This is switchgrass, because if they have to come in and fix the utilities, this will recover much more quickly. And are those specific like pollinator plants Friendly, and gardens? Right. This is supports finches, love okay. the seeds, and also some skipper caterpillars will feed on the leaves. And then the salvia in front is lavender jewel salvia that blooms all summer, another oh. All America selection winner. The hummingbirds love the flowers and the finches love the seeds. So it's okay. fun to watch them come and visit. Talk through some of the pictures that we're going to show. So that's an example of the pollinator garden that people can see at State Fair. Right. And a I can't believe you're going to be there twice a day, every day of the fair. I get a chance to spread out all my eating <laughs> throughout the 11 days. So that's good. So yeah, so come and visit. We've got lots of good plants. And then we've got some ideas for how to be sustainable but pretty. So we'll show some of those images. Mm. This is our compost, our double compost bin at State Fair. So if you mm -hmm. have a place, you can tuck it a little bit it out of view but convenient it works but the next picture is one of look at this beautiful fence this yeah. is my friend Dorothy and brown deer and you can see the gate so the next picture shows you what's behind 
Do you only have friends who are good gardeners? <laughs> no, but I like to hang out with them so oh, I can take pictures smart. of there. That's, that's cool. In the way. So she has huh. a double area fencing there, so you don't see the tomato towers, the compost yeah. bins, yeah. and it's convenient and easy. The next one is a more formal garden in Quebec. Look at how beautiful. Oh, wow. wow. And this is why people don't not necessarily like to invite me, because that's what's behind that wall. <laughs> so I'm on this garden tour taking pictures behind yeah, the wall. But that's cool, though, that, that people let you share that, because it's it just shows that you can have mm -hmm. like a utility space exactly. and have all your equipment and your tools. And then if you kind of have a wall or something to divide it, you can have this beautiful scape. Exactly. And I think that's what we all need. If it's easy and convenient, you will do it. And I mm -hmm. think we all want to do the right thing. Plant for pollinators, recycle our yard waste. But if it's hard or inconvenient, eh, I'll do it next time. So right. easy and pretty is kind of the theme. 10 and yeah. 2 every day you're at the State Fair. What are people going to see if they come meet you? Well, we'll, we'll highlight the gardens at mm -hmm. We Energy Energy Park. I'll talk about a little more in depth about creating these spaces in your garden. Some more examples. We've got some beautiful gardens thanks to American Transmission Company, We Energy, the landscape contractors who help us put them in, and all the other volunteers. So beautiful gardens this year. 10 and 2 p.m. every day. Garden spaces for everyone and every purpose near the We Energies Park or at the We Energies Park is where people will find you. Um, you're also going to have gardening goodie bags for people who exactly. attend. Also the American Transmission Company's Grow Smart Native Planting Guides will also be available at the fair. For more information you can go to the website you see there. It is atc-growsmart.com. Again that planting guide so that you can attract pollinators mm -hmm. to your garden. Right. Right, whether Thanks, you have Linda. transmission lines or not, it's good. It's good for everyone. It's good business. Yeah, right, for pollinators. <laughs> Sounds good. Thanks, Melinda. Thank you. Appreciate it.